Hi everyone, do you know the difference between deny unless and allow if access controls? Well, stick around because we are about to find out and identify use cases for each one. In the Xanadu release, ServiceNow introduced these new deny unless access controls and these complement existing ACLs, which are officially designated now as allow if access controls, which is the other side of the same security coin. But hang on, don't they just mean the same thing? If I allow access to something, if the user has the necessary role, then isn't that the same as denying access to something unless they have that role? In the case of pure semantics, you're probably right. However, we need to understand these concepts in the context of the default security model of the ServiceNow platform. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that by default, access to all resources, tables, records, fields, whatever, is blocked, it's denied. The current allow if access controls allow access if the user meets certain conditions. It's therefore an implicit deny. These ACLs do not explicitly specify who is not granted access, it's implicit. In other words, all those who don't meet the conditions of the ACLs. And using this method is by far the most efficient way to implement access controls, actually, because in general, the percentage of users who are permitted access to something is usually significantly smaller than those whom access is denied. But what if you want to explicitly deny access to something? For example, selected records like specific configuration items or assets or locations or even specific fields, specific choices, if that's even possible, I'm not sure. Now, you could modify conditions in an existing access control to specify which records allow access is granted, for example, or incidents except major incidents. But this becomes tedious if you have several access controls for the same resource and operation, but with different conditions, because it means you have to go into each one and modify them separately. For example, like the read ACLs, for instance, there's ones if you have the ITIL role, there's another one if you have the approval user role, there's another one for instance that you've created yourself, and so on and so forth. Now you could modify those individually or just create one deny if access control to explicitly deny access to certain records, fields, or even the entire table. Now, these access control rules are evaluated before the allow if ones, so a user must pass the deny if access controls first, after which the system will grant access to the resources just as before by looking at those allow if access controls. Let's take a look at this example right here. In the locations table, I've got the first record here that has been marked as a data center. Let's just say this is sensitive data. The company is branching out into a new product offering and we want to restrict access to this record so that no employee accidentally sees, oh, okay, we're building new data centers now. So if we have a look at the access controls for the locations table, in particular, the read access controls for the entire table. You see there are seven records here. Okay, Now, we could go into each one individually and say, okay, you have access to your records just as before, except for these records now that have been marked as data center. However, there is an easy way now, and that way is to create a deny unless access control. So now... If I come here and create a new access control and specify the decision type as deny unless because the default is allow if, and I'm going to say this specif oh, this is specific to records where the type contains data center. Okay, and save that. Now, another new feature in Xanadu is that if you have forgotten to specify a role or some conditions in the ACL, you're going to get a pop-up here. Uh, to remind you. So I'm going to put in the admin role here and go ahead and save it. Okay. Now, if I come back to my list here and just refresh it on the system administrator here, I've still got access to that record. Okay. But if I come now to another user who previously had access to all records, and now if I refresh this list, that record is gone. 
Okay. So it's just a very easy way to restrict access to certain records in a table. Uh, what we could also do here, you'll notice if I come here and uh, specify a filter and say where the type contains and then have a look at what options are there, I can also see here that, oh, okay, data center. I haven't seen that before. What does that mean? Okay, <laughs> so if we want to restrict access to this value, uh, we could do it as well because this is just another record in another table. So we just go to our access controls for this table. And again, just the same as before, we create a new access control, this time deny unless, uh, where the name is data center. Uh, again, I'll specify myself with the admin role as the condition, click OK. All right, so if I come in my admin session now and try to build a filter with that uh, type field, uh, I can see I can see all the, the values there, including data center. Okay, we expected that. But now if I come back to my other user session here and create a filter with that same field, uh, we can see here that the data center value is now gone. Okay, so that's a very simple use case where you can easily restrict access to certain records. So rather than going in and modifying several different access control rules, you only need to specify one, make it a deny unless, and then specify what records it applies to and what conditions need to be met in order to grant access to those records. Let's have a look at another example now. I've got another table here called vehicle stocks, just contains three records. Uh, it is a standalone table, no table extensions going on here. And at the moment, this table has zero access control rules. Okay. As we can see here. All right. That means now for the role that is part of this application, um, they don't have access to this table and they don't have access to any records in it. Okay. So what should we do now? What kind of access control do we need to give this user access? Let's try with a deny unless access control rule first and let's see what happens. So if I go ahead and create a new record here for my vehicle stock table, it'll be a read access control and deny unless uh, for the whole table. Okay, so no other conditions there. And it's going to require uh, the user role that I've specified for this application that I'm currently logged in as using in my other session. So click OK for that and save that. All right. So in my admin session, you know, I should still have full access. If I refresh it, I can see all records. If I come to my vehicle user session now and refresh the page, we can kind of see the table, but we can't see any records in it, okay? So what we need to do is actually create another access control rule. So we've gone through the, like the first entry point, if you like, into this table. We've passed that, we are that user, we have that role. But once we're there, we'll still need to evaluate any allow if access control rules to see what data, what fields, what records, etc., we have access to. And at the moment, we don't have any of those access control rules. So that's why we end up with a table that we can't see anything in. So what we need to do is to come back to our list of access controls and go ahead and create a new one, just like you would do normally. This time it's going to be an allow if, okay, for read access. And I'll specify the same role here. Save that. Again, my admin user has access to everything. But now if I come back to my user session here and refresh, I've got access to all records in the table as I expect. Now, I didn't actually need to specify that deny unless access control rule. If I delete that right now, it's not going to make any difference. But that's just another level, you could say, of security um, before you get to those allow if access control rules. And we could do the same as we did in the previous demonstration. We could create another deny if 
or deny unless access control rule for uh, admins to only see specific records here. Or another use case would be if this were a child table, a quick way to restrict access to this table and kind of ignore any ACLs that are coming from parent tables so that are by default inherited, you could create a deny unless access control rule for the whole table uh, for a certain role. Okay. So this reminds me of an analogy that some of you may have heard about, about access controls being keys to a house or a hotel, which is the table. So allow if access controls determine where you can go in that hotel. So think of deny unless access controls as the hotel lobby. Nearly everyone can walk into the lobby, but to get past it and into the hotel itself, you need a reservation. But what if the access card you received doesn't work? That's what happened to me in several instances. I've passed the deny unless rule because I have a reservation. I've checked in, but without a valid access card, I can't go anywhere in the hotel. And this is what happened in the previous demonstration. You know, or maybe I'm attending a private function at the hotel and we've reserved the hotel garden, which is normally accessible to guests, but in this case, only for certain users. Again, rather than modifying a whole bunch of allow if access control rules to take this restriction into account, we can simply create one deny unless control that denies access unless you are, in the case of my example, a function guest. And you could also use these access control rules, as I said before, to restrict access to a child table, thereby overriding any permissions on the parent table that have by default or through inheritance granted users access. So... There you have it. Hopefully we've taken some of the mystery out of these deny unless access controls. They are an easy way you can tighten your security when you want to quickly exclude certain users or further restrict access to data and resources. See you next time.